How you guys? I am, first of all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel Link, but I am so excited for today's video. I cannot even begin to tell you. This is something you guys have asked me for, for literally like the whole two years I've been on YouTube and even longer since I've been on Instagram and even longer in my personal life. Like everybody's been asking me for a waterproof brow product. And guess what? Urban Decay just sent me their new product called Inked Brow. And this is supposed to be waterproof for up to 60 hours! Can you imagine? Can you imagine not having to do your brows for like 60 hours? That's like two and a half days. Two and a half days. I want to show you guys something. I got this yesterday afternoon. I just did like a little bitty tiny swatch right here. Look at this. I washed my hands several times since then. I, my eyes watered. But I even took a makeup wipe and tried to remove this. And like, I couldn't get it off. So I'm like really excited to try this today. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm literally going to wear this for 60 hours too. Like, I know that we like wash our makeup off at night or whatever. But sometimes like, even if you do that and you like want to go to a sleepover or you have company over and you're like afraid you'll wake up in the morning and your brows are gonna be gone or you wanna go swimming or something like that, then you need something that's gonna be waterproof and that lasts if you get caught in the rain. So I'm really excited to try this. They sent me two shades and one is called Brown Sugar and the other one is Ginger Snap. I'm gonna use Brown Sugar because Ginger Snap is for ginger hair and I'm not wearing a ginger wig. I wanted to wear my natural hair today. Now they do have like a whole line and there's several shades as you can see. Having a waterproof product like this for somebody who has sparse brows like me and a lot of you guys that subscribe to my channel is just like, oh my God, a heaven sent. We're still beautiful without brows. I want to make that very, very clear. But I know it's been a big insecurity of mine, and I know it's probably an insecurity for some of you out there. So, I'm really excited to test this. Let me just get my hair prepared and out of the way. I'm really curious to see what kind of coverage this has too, because if it's like really light coverage, and you can just tell that it's like really light, you know, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. I want it to be like good coverage, but I don't want it to like look really fake if that makes sense you know I really like to create my brows to look real and realistic so I'm going to try this without anything else like this is the only thing I'm going to use and that's going to be hard though because I don't know how I'm going to map my brows out let me show you the brush first of all okay I love this I love this brush because it's an angled brush which is what I would have picked out of my brush set to apply this with anyways um, and like that's the one thing that I used to hate about Wonder Brow, which I don't even use that anymore. But the thing that I hated about it, I'll show you, is that the brush is like this. It's like a lips, lip gloss or lipstick applicator. And it's like, why for your brows? That literally made no sense to me. So I'm really glad that this has the angled brush because that's what I would always grab anyways. I want to make this very clear right up front. This is not a sponsored video at all. I did reach out to Urban Decay because they do send me PR. So I, I got in touch with my contact person and I asked them if they would sponsor my video and they said they didn't have a budget for it right now. So this is not sponsored. Ultimately, I'm doing it because of you guys, because this is what you've asked me for and this is what you subscribed to me for in the first place is from my viral brow tutorial. And so I, I'm doing it for you guys. Okay, I just wanna make that clear that this is not sponsored. I wish it was, I really wish it was, but it's not. I feel like I do need a pencil. I'm, let me just try the brush real quick. Let me try the brush, but I feel like I need a pencil to like map my brows out. I'm gonna try to map my brows out with that. You guys know the deal with that. I do it in every tutorial. So it's like crook of your nose, inner corner of your eye and go straight up. There we go. And then crook of your nose. Some people do the tip of your nose. I do the crook of the nose. Through the center of the pupil, there's your, you know, arch. And then corner of the nose to so the corner of the eye, and that's where, like, the tail should be. 
one thing I noticed about applying this on my hand was that it seemed like it took a minute to dry down, which is fine because I want to be able to clean it up if I need to. So I'm just going to go straight on out here. It's going on very lightweight right now, and I'm okay with that because I want to be able to clean it up if I need to. As long as it's buildable, then I'm fine with that too. Which I did wipe off a lot of the excess because I don't want to make a lot of mistakes right now. I mean, honestly, just go in with a pencil. If you have any brow pencil, just map them out like that if you need to first. Okay, I have them lightly mapped out. Now, I'm going to go in with the product. I've wiped it off just a little bit so there's not like a ton. I'm gonna start at my tail. Okay, okay, look. It does have some power to it. Right here where I don't have a tail, I feel like it does cling to the hairs really good too. But where I don't have a tail, it's going on a little bit lighter, but I'll go in and add more in a minute and see if that helps. See if I can build it up. Okay, so this is one light coat. You can see that it attached to my few little hairs there the most and then it is kind of light here but that's fine because I really think that we can go in and build it up just a little bit and it'll be fine. Okay with this brow I didn't wipe any of the excess off just I'm kind of like applying it how it comes out with the brush and the thicker you apply it the darker it is or like the more pigmented it is. I don't know if you guys can see that very good. I'm gonna let this dry for a second and then I'm gonna go in with another coat. I'm actually going to go ahead and use this Urban Decay Brow Blade, and they didn't send me this. I actually bought this before I got on their PR, and I'm going to use the pencil side, and this is in brown sugar as well, so it's the same shade. I just want to like outline my brows a little bit better because I feel like I'm having trouble with that. I do recommend if you need to outline your brows to have something to work with, then use a pencil. I do feel like it's a little bit hard, and to use that brush to outline and it's really important that I get a good outline because if this is that waterproof like I don't want any mistakes to be stuck on my face and to be honest this is a warm brow but it's not as warm as what I was thinking it was going to be so I'm okay with that okay well I didn't do the best job with that okay I'm going to go in with another coat Second coat? Wow. Can you guys see this? Wow. This looks so good. This is this is the coverage I need right here. I'm going to go in with a little spoolie brush and I'm only going to take the tip of it on the areas with the hairs because I feel like it really clung to that and I need to blend it out just a little bit so that it doesn't look so drastic from the places where I don't have hair. But I kind of like that it darkened the actual hairs too because I feel like it makes it look like I have more hair. I thought I was going to have to go in with a pencil to darken up certain places like where I don't have hair but I don't think I'm going to have to. I'm going to put just the tiniest amount of product in the places where I don't have hair just to kind of even it out a little. I'm so impressed. Okay I'm going to clean it up with a little bit of concealer so that they kind of look you know shaped right. And just know you can do whatever shape with your brows that you want. This is only to show you the techniques and to actual up oh, <laughs> to show you how the product works. Okay, so I'm really happy with the coverage right now. Like, I feel like I look like I have like a lot more brows than I actually do. You guys have been on my channel for a while now and you guys have seen me do several brow tutorials so you know what my brows look like plus I didn't have anything on when I first started the video so you know 
kind of where I'm at and you can see the difference. Now I want to let this dry down for a second and then I'm going to test the waterproofness of it. Okay so I have a water bottle here. It's got water in it. I'm just going to stick a q-tip in there. I'm not even going to like I want this to be really wet. Like you can see that it's about to drip water. Look at this. I'm going to touch it and there's a drop of water. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Okay. Let me try this. Has it dried down enough? Let me touch it. See what it feels like. Nothing came off of my finger. I'm like trying to look here. I don't know if it's set long enough. Nothing's coming off. Okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Okay, here we go. Oh, I just put a bunch of water on there. You can see the water drops. It's not lifting off. There's nothing on the Q-tip. You guys. Oh my God. No, look. Okay. This is insane. Instead of taking a tissue or a paper towel to wipe this water off my brow, I'm going to take a makeup wipe. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to see. Okay. That was a light swatch. I can see the tiniest little bit coming off. This is makeup remover though, you guys. So, and this is a really good makeup remover wipe. It's the Neutrogena Calming ones. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna bring it, go hard. Look, I want you to see the pressure. Okay, the only place it came off was right where I first started and the rest of it. Like you literally have to try so hard to get this off. Okay, I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold with the waterproofness and because if it's going to withhold a makeup wipe and you have to like, listen, that's still indented because I pressed down on it so hard. Okay, I'm going to fill that spot back in. Yes, honey, work. Woo! I'm so excited about this. Okay, so I'm going to wear this for 60 hours. Literally wear this for 60 hours. And I'm going to see if it lasts. I'm going to, when I do my skincare tonight, well, let me show you guys what time it is, first of all. So it's 3.54 p.m. on Tuesday, March the 3rd. 60 hours from now would be like 4 a.m. Uh, in two and a half days. So that would be Friday at 4 a.m. But I'll check in periodically and I'll definitely check in Friday night before the 60 hour mark. I'll check in and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm really excited for this. I really, really hope that this works. I really do. I have wanted something that's waterproof that lasts. I found lots of things that will last me throughout the day and that's fine with me because I wash it all off at night anyways. But if I could have something like this where I could go swimming and not have to worry, that would be amazing. So I'm going to go for now. And I will catch you guys at my next check-in. Okay, you guys, it's Wednesday, March 4th at 2.30 p.m. And I'm checking back in with some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that last night I forgot that I was doing this wear test. And when I went to do my skincare, I soaked my face in a makeup remover balm that you like leave on your face and it works everything loose and gets it off and I accidentally put it on my brows. <laughs> so the good news is that even with that balm it barely lifted anything off. It just lifted off a little bit but I went ahead and scrubbed it off and I literally had to scrub hard and use makeup remover, the balm, liquid, like it really took an act of God to get that off, okay? And the reason I went ahead and removed it was because I felt like I had compromised the integrity of the product because I had put this stuff on my brows and my entire face to like melt the makeup off. And I didn't feel like it was fair. If it didn't last the full 60 hours, I wouldn't know if it was because I had put that on there or because it just doesn't last that long. I truly honestly believe it's going to last that long because of how hard it was to get off. But I went ahead just now and I redid my brows exactly how I filmed it yesterday. 
I didn't want to have to refilm that, so I just did it exactly like that. And now, instead of the final check-in being on Friday, it'll be on Saturday. I'm really sorry about that. Um, one thing I can tell you so far is that I have loved it. Like I said, it doesn't budge. It doesn't move. It's waterproof. It's like makeup remover proof. It's like amazing. I'm, I'm very excited to even do this. I am going to check in with you guys again tonight and I'm going to make sure that I don't rub those off, okay? I don't put anything on them, compromise them, because I want this to be a very true and honest review. Since you guys have asked me for this, I just want to give you guys the best review I can possibly give you. I feel like this is a very important product for a lot of us. I will see you guys at my next check-in. Okay, you guys, it is time for my nightly check-in. Let me show you what time it is. It is 11.58 p.m. Hold on. Wednesday, March 4th still. And I did my makeup today and I just took it off and I used a Q-tip to clean around the brows so that I didn't touch the brows because I don't want to mess with them. I'm going to sleep in them tonight and see what they look like and I'll get back with you guys tomorrow. Hi you guys, it's me. I'm back and apparently when I recorded this segment my mic was not plugged in so there's no sound so I'm voice overing this. As you can see it's 3.34 p.m. on Thursday March the 5th when I'm recording this which is the next day. Now I did sleep in the brows and this is what they look like after sleeping in them. I am a very rough sleeper. I sleep on my side. I flip flop back and forth between each side and it held up but at the same time around the edges it's kind of worn off some and it wore off on the tail a lot and I needed to do my makeup for the day I couldn't walk around like that because this happened I decided to end the test there I do believe that this will last longer if you don't sleep on your side and rub your face into your pillow as much as I do. And also, if you want to just keep wearing it like this, you can. You can just use a pencil and fill it in. But because I was doing a review on it, I needed to be completely a thousand percent honest and show you what it looks like. And for me personally, if I, I couldn't just go straight to work with my brows looking like this, I would have to do something else to them. I would have to fill them back in with the product or whatever, which is fine. But for the review purposes, I felt like this is the end of the test period of the review. Hi, you guys. It's me again. I just wanted to come back. It is Tuesday. Hold on. It is Tuesday, March the 10th, and I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. I've been wearing the Urban Decay Inked Brow um, for a while now, and I decided not to upload my video on Monday because I wanted to keep wearing it and give you guys like some really good feedback. So for me personally, the easiest thing for me to do is to outline my brows first if you have sparse brows. If you don't, just go straight in with this. But for some of us that have like hardly any brows, I have to outline mine and then fill it in with this. I outlined them, but then I used this. I didn't fill them in with anything but this and look how good they look. Like they look natural. And also once it dries down, you can tell it matches my hair color better. It doesn't look like that very warm like orangey undertone type of shade to it. It does have more of like a neutral tone. I mean, it is still a little warm, but it's not as warm as what it looks like in the bottle, which is a good thing for me. Now, I know the 60 hour wear test did not work for me, but like I said, I sleep on my side and I like bury my face in my pillow and it was still there. For me, I don't need something to last 60 hours. I need it to last throughout the day. I need it to last when I sweat and I need to need for it to like stay if I get caught in the rain or if I want to go swimming. I feel like this did that. This is nearly impossible to take off in the first 24 hours. I'll just tell you, it is nearly impossible. You have to really take a good makeup remover and kind of scrub it off or take one of the makeup removing balms and let it sit there for a few minutes and then get it off and that like works some of it loose. But this is, listen, for my sparse haired, no haired beauties, I cannot recommend this enough. I cannot, 
I cannot express to you, this is our product. This product is for us. This is the product that we've been dreaming of, that you guys have been asking me for. I, a thousand percent, a thousand million percent of my approval on this product. I have never, ever found anything like it. One thing I want to point out too that I really, really like about this is that it does take a couple minutes to dry down, but while it's wet, it's very easy to clean up. So if you make a mistake, take a Q-tip and wipe off the mistake part and it's gone. But once it dries, it's done. You can't, <laughs> good luck getting it off, okay? But that's what we want, that's what we want. But I love that there's a time period there that you can work with to fix mistakes. As often as I do my brows and as good as I am at it, I make mistakes. So it would really suck badly if I went to put this on and made a mistake and I had to live with that and couldn't clean it up. And I, especially as hard as this is to get off. So I love, love, love that there's like a little time period there where you can clean it up and it looks perfect. But yeah, I just wanted to come back on here and say this because I have been wearing this a lot lately. I am in love with it. I love everything about it. You know how I always go in with another product and darken the hairs up over top, any little hairs that I have? I don't even have to do that now because this darkens the hairs too. It's like brow tinting at home. Like literally, my mind is blown. I can't say enough good things about this. And I just wanted to make sure that I got that across on camera, not because they sent this product to me for free, but because I have a duty to you guys, like my obligation is to you all. And I really want you guys to know that this is a really good product and that it does last throughout the entire day through sweat and water and everything, rain. And I didn't want you to think that I didn't like it because it didn't last the full 60 hours for me. And to be honest, if I had kept up with it, um, I am pretty sure that the area that stayed, which was like the whole middle area, that probably would have stayed for the whole 60 hours. I have no doubts about that. Just the edges wore off a little bit. And I do wonder now if the edges wore off a little bit because I did outline them before I went in with this. But like I said, I'm okay with that. And if you wanted to do that, you could just like touch up the edges with your pencil when you get up or whatever. Anyways, uh, I just needed to come on here and say that before I upload this video. I love you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed this. I will put a link for this in the description box. And again, it is called the Urban Decay Inked Brow. And I was in the shade Brown Sugar, which is soft, medium brown. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one.